When you think of the construction material of the future, are you thinking nanotubes, carbon fiber, holograms? How about cardboard? I'm Trace, and this is D News. And did you ever build a fort when you were a kid, like out of a refrigerator box? You did, didn't you? It was probably the best and most awesome fort ever. Well, in Christchurch, New Zealand, an architect is doing the same thing with a cathedral. Last year, there was an earthquake in New Zealand, and this Gothic cathedral was damaged beyond repair. But rather than build a new one of local stone like the old one was, the Anglican church hired Japanese architect Shigeru Ban, who proposed this. This beautiful building is made almost completely of cardboard. The A-frame cathedral seats 700 people, is waterproof and flame retardant. The pews will not, however, be made of bubble wrap. I checked that one out myself. It's too distracting. <laughs> Shigeru Ban specializes in cardboard architecture, which he says is easier to get after a disaster unlike timber and stone, and is less likely to kill if it collapses again in a second earthquake. The church will have a lifespan of about 50 years, and it has a cement foundation and stained glass and a polycarbon roof, but is otherwise essentially just made of Cardboard. cardboard is pretty amazing. It's essentially reinforced paper, which means it's light and strong based on its structure, but it's also renewable and recyclable. The Corrugated Packaging Alliance says the first cardboard, which they call corrugate, was patented in the 19th century and used to help Victorian Englishman hats stay stiff. By the 1890s, Wells Fargo was slicing it up to be used in boxes, and today it is the most recycled packaging material in the United States. Buildings aren't the only things made out of cardboard these days. Outdoor sports have also started to adopt the lightweight material, going so far as to create a plastic and cardboard bike helmet. It's 15% lighter than its foam counterparts, and it protects just as well. But they didn't stop there. You can put on this cardboard bike helmet and get on your brand new cardboard bike. The bike is made completely out of this wonder material and using origami techniques, the designer made the cardboard even stronger so it can hold up to 485 pounds. Overall, it takes about $9 worth of cardboard to make the bike and they hope to sell for about 60 bucks and they'll be released later this year. I am totally interested in getting one of these. So it would seem that corrugate is not just for shipping anymore. There are competitions to create huge structures out of cardboard, and designers can create offices complete with furniture, human aid buildings, and even whole bridges that span rivers made of corrugate material. And the best part is, when we're done, we just take the structure down, we recycle it, and turn it into something else. Carbon Nano who? Give me some corrugate. Share your favorite cardboard construction down in the comments and subscribe to D News so you can get all three of our videos every day. The third one for today, Anthony will tell you a bit about how being a little fat could actually keep you healthy. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna go build a fort. Catch you later.